Okay, so at this point, we're going to move on to our uh, next speaker, and it is Stavrula Koga. She's the digital marketing manager from Wizard Performance Advertising Agency, and she's going to talk to us about how offline conversion tracking leads to effective optimization and business growth. Hello. Hi, Stavrula. Hello, George. Thank you for having me. Great to have you on board, and um, I'm not going to delay you anymore. Let's crack in with the presentation. Okay, so I'm Stavrula Koga and I'm a digital marketing manager at Wizard. Uh, we are a performance-based advertising agency and our purpose uh, in Wizard is to give SMEs the chance to advertise themselves as big brands do by combining brand awareness and increase of sales. Now, my field of expertise uh, is uh, paid ads and performance marketing in general. And today I'm going to be talking about offline conversion tracking and how marketers can use it in order to develop holistic lead acquisition strategies based on actual leads and uh, their ROAS. So the gap, um, the gap between online uh, leads and the actual offline sale, I think, all performance marketing experts have come across this issue at some point uh, in, the, in their careers. I definitely have, um, especially those who handle lead, uh, lead generation campaigns uh, where the ad doesn't, uh, almost always doesn't lead uh, directly to an online sale, but uh, instead starts the customer down a path that ultimately uh, leads to a sale that happens in the offline world. That process, uh, of course, is making it hard for advertisers to calculate uh, the final conversions value and their ad investments uh, ROAS, of course, which is very important. By importing uh, offline conversions, we can measure what happens in the offline world after um, our ad results in a click, an online form, or a call to uh, our client's business. So, um, here comes OCT. Uh, OCT stands for Offline Conversion Tracking and SIP is the self-implementation platform. Now, we already know uh, that Google Ads gives, um, give advertisers the opportunity to connect their Salesforce uh, account and import data from there, but this is not the case for most businesses. So what happens when the, advertisers use, the advertiser uses another CRM or a web-based uh, database? Uh, OCT, uh, self-implementation platform, comes here as a solution for performance experts, uh, allowing, allowing us to import actual offline conversions and their value. So why uh, implement the offline conversion uh, tracking? Of course, to improve uh, quality leads, uh, quality lead acquisition, and refining uh, by refining uh, lead quality, um, we do not only pave the path for sustainable business growth, uh, allowing us uh, marketers to develop customer acquisition strategies with a holistic perception uh, and their impact uh, in uh, our clients' cash flow and profitability but also it helps us uh, drive efficiency in lead acquisition efforts, getting more value out of each interaction with prospective customers. So uh, from Google, from data provided by Google, we know uh, that uh, in strategies uh, that customer data has been incorporated across the whole lead journey, there has been an increase of 30% uh, in uh, cost efficiency and 20% uh, um, increase in incremental um, revenue for advertisers. So, uh, moving on to our case study here, uh, our team uh, at Wizard saw how uh, the offline conversion tracking implementation could contribute to lead generation campaigns, and right away we thought of testing it on modulus uh, in a modulus .gr uh, account using the self-implementation platform provided by Google as a guide. So uh, just a brief uh, mention for Modulus. Modulus is a, a company that provides um, cloud-based uh, telecommunication uh, solutions, uh, such as uh, VoIP, uh, voice over IP solutions, and virtual uh, cloud-based cloud call centers. 
Now, an important thing uh, to keep in mind uh, for our case study is that Modulus doesn't have any um, of the traditional CRMs like Salesforce or HubSpot. They're using a web-based uh, ticketing system called Redmine. That made um, Modulus the perfect case study uh, for our performance team. Uh, so let me now uh, briefly explain uh, what the technical process uh, was and, and what the steps were um, to implement um, uh, offline conversion tracking. So first, uh, definitely we mapped uh, the different lead uh, statuses within Modulus's CRM. Uh, this was very important, of course, uh, for us to decide uh, next uh, which one, uh, which status, which conversion, which step in their CRM would be uh, the final closed deal and uh, the contract for um, our client. Following that, uh, in collaboration with Modulus's dev team, uh, we proceeded to the implementation uh, through uh, GCLID, where we basically matched uh, the ID given to the user by Google Ads and uh, saved it along the lead's whole journey inside the CRM. Uh, along with some, of course, uh, details about what type of conversion it was and when it happened. Uh, finally, those conversions were being uh, exported to an HTTP uh, file and scheduled, scheduled to be uploaded in uh, Google Ads every other day. So, uh, moving on to um, the marketer approach, our campaign implementation. Uh, I want to uh, comment here that it was very important for us when testing our offline conversion tracking to not affect the account's whole performance. So we decided to start with an experiment split test campaign. Uh, the experiment uh, campaign uh, was based uh, on our uh, most performing uh, search campaign, the one targeting uh, VoIP related um, voice over IP related search term, terms, of course. So we split uh, that campaign um, and did an experiment on that campaign, uh, optimize, optimizing for online form submissions for our existing uh, search campaign. And the experiment one was optimizing for imported offline closed deals. This is very important. Uh, the second, the experiment campaign, was uh, only optimizing for offline closed deals. So let's see what happened uh, with that. Uh, and just a brief uh, mention here, uh, we, um, based on internal data analysis, our estimation of conversion rate for um, Google search uh, online forms, the, which was our uh, which I was was our main conversion uh, to offline to actual offline sales is uh, 50 percent so based uh, on that uh, internal data we can deduct that actual closed deals from the existing campaign that optimized for online conversion would have an actual cost per lead of 40 uh, euros and at the same time the experiment campaign which was optimizing uh, with the help of OCT uh, which was optimizing for offline uh, actual closed contracts uh, resulted to a cost per lead that was at 30 euros. That was um, a huge uh, change, a huge decrease in our cost per actual uh, lead, uh, which was uh, minus 24.5% uh, uh, in cost. And uh, from ROAS pers uh, perspective, um, we um, we have uh, calculated the Modulus's average closed deal value at around um, uh, 300 uh, euros uh, per closed deal. So this allows us this allowed us to make a quick estimation for those campaigns ROAS. So uh, those estimations resulted in a, a, a 550 percent ROAS when optimizing for online forms and and. 990% ROAS when optimizing for actual closed deals this time. So this, this was huge for us. Um, we saw a 32% uh, increase in ROAS for campaigns that optimized uh, based on uh, offline conversion tracking. Uh, so that was the, the big news uh, for us. 
And wrapping up, um, I wanted to mention that at Wizard, we strongly um, uh, believe that OCT should be a part of all our uh, lead generation focused accounts, especially for B2B clients. That's why we plan on integrating, uh, integrating it in our initial configuration processes for our uh, customers. So that was it. Thank you for listening. Uh, you can follow us, uh, find us on LinkedIn and follow us at uh, Wizard and visit our site. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Stavrula. Thank you.